Alright. I'm gonna just keep playing Elden Ring. Um, last time I got... Uh, went up Mount uh, Gilmir. I think Galmir, something like that. And then I went into a cave uh, close to sort of the top of that, and that's where I'm gonna keep going now. Um... Yeah, so, I, like yesterday I was trying to... I thought I had fixed my quality, but... Uh, today, like, after YouTube's like processor and all of that shit, it looks like the quality is just literally back to kind of being like pixelated and garbage, so I, I, I really don't know. Like, I think YouTube literally just fucks any sort of person that's not above like a certain amount of subscribers. With like, uh, it's either that or it's a 1080p thing. Like whatever encoder they use to to um, encode their whatever videos quality makes the quality drop by a fuckload. So I I just I'm just gonna give up. I can't like, it's gonna drive me crazy. So I'm just have to accept that my quality is gonna be what it is, and I can't do anything about it. So. Anyway, after the, like, anyway, so let's just uh, keep going. I'm going to go to Volcano Manor as soon as I'm done with this cave, probably, and then see where it goes from there. Hopefully I can find Patches and smash his head in, because he's a fucking asshole. So how many is that? 25,000. Uh, probably don't need that. Okay, so I'm probably still vastly over-leveled for this, like, area. I've been trying this weapon, the... whatever the fuck this is called. Magma Worm Scale Sword 9 <laughs> And uh, it's a good weapon I don't know if I prefer it over the other weapons I've been using But uh, I'll see how it goes um, But as you can see it is a strong weapon so Which is good This looks like it could be a hole or something Nope I did turn my darkness down, like my gamma or whatever, down a little bit. Okay, so there's an enemy down there, but now... If I fall down... Oh, wait. If I fall down there, there was also shit up here. There was another pathway up here. If I'm not mistaken. This way. And this way. Oh, so there's such many pathways here. This goes down as well. That's a creepy fucking thing. So there's some dudes up there. They're all like going berserk and shit, but uh... Oopsie! Oh, wow, there's just like a boss right here. So this is like a super tiny cave. Super tiny cave that like just loops in on itself. Because I guess where they came from was where I was standing up like... Oh, it's another green of Margaret. Margaret. Ooh, damage. I actually wanted to try use this if I found it, but uh, I think you need jars as like ammo, so I feel like I'll run out of ammo constantly. Needs 34 strength, does quite a lot of damage. Critical, oh, it's got 50 range. Jar cannon, which uses explosives to fire great bolts. Oh, so it fires great bolts. Deals great damage, but is slow to reload. Experimental firearm brought to the assault on Volcano Manor, where it was discovered that no one knew how to use it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. That's, uh, that's very random. But that's, that's quite cool, though, that you can have a cannon. 
I wonder how big it is actually. That's not that big. Oh, and I can actually use it with the great bolt. So can I aim with it? Yeah, I can. That's so cool, so I can be like a fucking weird jar cannon wielding dude if I if I ever wanted to be. Okay, well, let me go back to my fancy worm blade. Which scales with strength and faith, which I think is fucking cool. Um, let me just backtrack and see if I missed anything with like, well, because there was like multiple paths. So I wanted to see um, if any of the paths went another way or anything like that. I am trying out a higher pit rate, so hopefully it doesn't like, I hope they don't get like weird frame drops and stuff, and I'm also trying out a uh, single pass instead of multi pass. Um, which apparently, uh, okay, so this is the drop, and then I guess the other one is literally just a. Uh, so this is just a tiny cave. Um, apparently, multi pass is is Charles like processing power, and that might like make my stream lag a bit like more. Not like like latency wise, actually, like it it will slow it down um, where it will take longer for people to see it and stuff. So I'm trying a single pass just to see with higher bit rate, but same encoder and all of that stuff, and then I guess I'll see how it looks when I watch rewatch the VOD. So I need about eleven thousand. I should be able to. Fifteen thousand is a bit much. Eleven thousand. How many is this? If I do it by four, I have many ruin um, collectible things, and then need about another thousand. Can't remember what I wanted to take up actually. I think I wanted to take up strength because that like is gonna level up scale my damage, like maybe to <laughs> to thirty or so. Maybe twenty five is fine, but I'll see how it is. All right, let's see. So that's a super tiny cave, though. It's crazy. Yeah, so what I like about this weapon is it attacks fast, but what I like about, don't like about it is it doesn't really break poise, and also the reach is like very, um, short. So I might go back to the, to the big, like, colossal, uh, tree avatar, like, weapon. But I'll see how I feel later. So for now I'm gonna just keep using this. If I get another faith weapon, I might try that. So I don't think I actually went up there. I see there's a sword. There's some swords up there. So I'll check that out. Because there was a big ladder that went up, like, all the way over there. Oh, fuck. Ah! These guys do a lot of damage. Oh, God. What is he doing? Oh, he's got madness. That's weird. I don't know these guys had like a type of madness. Because okay, it definitely feels like I am like more along the right level here. It's like I'm st the enemies are starting to deal me more damage. Which is cool. Because it's been a while since uh, the whole of like Altus Plateau I was like felt like over leveled. Lindell Knights. Ooh, Knight's Great Sword, that's cool. I'll check that out just now. Uh oh, they are, they're just infested with like madness. Cool. I guess uh, I picked up the Knight's Gauntlet, so I'm gonna see if those are better than mine. No, they're not. And then 
sword. Great sword bestowed upon skilled swordsmen in the demigod's service, and yet had no rank or title. Featuring a long grip enabling dual-handed use, this weapon was designed to dispatch larger foes. Being charged with such a duty was undoubtedly a great honor. Okay, cool. Um, so how do I get up here? Oh, I can just run up here, actually. Eye of Yellow. <laughs> the assault on Volcano Manor, the squalid, the sick, the blasphemous, a wretched, unending war with no glory. Well, I guess, yeah, because they're still fighting, I guess. Was this the? This must have been the one with the with the high ladder. Like yes, here it is. Okay, yeah. Okay, cool. So I've been. I think I've been everywhere here now. Oh, there's a sign of grace. Cool. Oh shit. Just checking if Melina like says anything, but I don't think she does until you reach like the capital. I'm um, just checking if there's anything here. I keep seeing these nascent butterflies. Wee! That's cool. That's uh, one of these motherfuckers. Full-grown falling star beast. I don't really know their, these like enemies attacks very well because you only fight them so like such a limited amount of time. But, so I might actually get dicked by this thing. Attacks very awkward. Ah, oh, shit. I might actually have to change my weapon to fight this dude. Because I, I think, like, the reach is like, the, the short reach is like making it weird for me. Uh, oh shit. I guess that's just like a sort of a Nova attack if I was close by. I 
up so long. He does some sort of bleeding as well. This feels too awkward to fight. Fight him. Hey, don't have some tarnish. Hey, man. How's it going? Sorry, it took me a little while to reply. I was busy getting, like, completely wrecked. Um, hopefully the stream's okay, because uh, I've, I've been, like, really messing around with settings and stuff, so I don't know if I put my bitrate too high now for my internet connection. Uh, I think, let me rather use this, I think it's more like my style of, of like weapon. It's probably going to take me a little while to get used to it again now because I've, I haven't played, played with it for a while. That's why you could use your horse here, but uh, that's fine. Actually, there's quite a big opening there, like maybe I should have, should have attacked it while it's doing that charge up thing. This is 
is like my nemesis. Wow. Dude, it's like such a long, such a long like knockdown. Do that the first time around. do that if he doesn't do the the full charge up if you like avoid all these attacks Like it was greater than the last thing I've killed. Like that I actually struggled with. Sombra Smithing Stone 6. Falling Star Beast Jaw. Yeah, like that felt like harder to me than like most of the things I fought like recently. What the fuck? So what the fuck was that? Oh, there it is. Oh, it's an intelligence weapon. Part of a falling star beast jaw, hard and shining black fashioned into a weapon. With its sharp point, this colossal weapon can skewer foes. Okay. Seems cool. I wanted to see if my Zwinder is actually better than my, uh, this big thing. No, it's not. Damage wise, it's less. But I think I prefer the Zwinder, honestly. 800, so it's like, uh, it's like 80 less. <coughs> but let me go back to the Zoyander. I think it's a better weapon. Oh, I didn't even see this here. Starlight Shard. Okay, cool. So I can finally get to Volcano Manor now. Oh, 
There's a lot of crows here. I guess it's a sign that there's a lot of death here. Oopsie. Oh shit. Oh right, I forgot that the... Uh, oh fuck. <laughs> oh Christ. I'm doing like all the right things. Um, oh shit, I don't... Uh, I don't have any potions left. Yeah, I see there's a lot, lots of like things just dangling. Land of the corpses. Uh, I see this one of those invisible beetles. Let's pick this up. Gold seed. Uh, that was like this one's. Oh, he goes in a weird zigzag. There might be the best place to actually get him, like here, because he seems to dangle around here a lot. Some sort of arrow thing. Let's see. Oh, here's the map down here, actually. Uh, I've actually marked this map on the. Uh, but it's down there. That uh, it's a troll. Uh, it's like a madness troll. There's so much like death in the area or some shit. Who knows? See, so there's a golden sign there. What is that about? I thought this a mountain of fire, but I hardly feel a thing. I'll have to head further down. Okay. I've met him further down though, in the lava, so it's like weird. I guess you can get teleported here, like, earlier. But I never got... I never went to that NPC to to get the, the invitation or whatever. Still need to pick up this map. So I am actually went in this area. Like, look, I've been, like, almost everywhere in this, in this area. Except to that, the castle. I just want to get a waypoint before I go down to get the map. There would be a waypoint here. So I don't have an invitation for this. I wonder if I can still do the sort of quests and stuff. So I don't think I ever did these B 
PvP type things or whatever you call it, like NPC invasion things. Ah, right, cool, there's a bonfire there. Don't mind me. Oh, cool, I can add more flasks. Twelve flasks. I guess that's right, Kurt. Are you precocious? We rarely receive visitors to the Volcano Manor without invitation. Fascinating. And not unlike another guest we had long ago. So tarnished. Have you ever harbored doubts about the burden of grace and the dogmatic ramblings of the fingers? If you have, why not join the Volcano Manor and fight with us, rise with us against the Erd Tree? I think you have Your to do this in order to welcome. get inside. Now you belong to the Volcano Manor family. The drawing room lies down the hall. Make yourself comfortable. I am Tanith, the proprietress of this house. An honor to have you. Drawing room key. The drawing room is through the hall. Use the key I handed you and make yourself comfortable. Cool. The drawing room is use the key. Can I talk to this guy? Guess not. Oh, I see he's a crucible knight. Uh, so I wonder if they're. Hmm, I wonder if the crucible knights are their dudes then. Or what the deal is with that. Let me read the key's description and see if it says anything special. No. It says fucking nothing. Um, okay, wait, before I do this, I want to go back. I want to backtrack to get the map. Oh, wait, can I go in here now? Nope. That responds to troll. That's oh, what's final. It's from post. Excuse me, coming through. Like I can't remember. Oh shit! Some of these motherfuckers. I can't remember what level I was when I finished. Oh shit! <laughs> Fuck! I hate these things. There's like certain enemies in this game. It's just like frustrating to fight against. It's like the Royal Revenants. One of them. Any type of dog enemy. These hands, the, the big hands specifically. The small hands are like not really a problem. The big hands are the problem. Ruin bears. Those, uh, I think they're called. I don't know if they're called version maidens or iron maiden type things or something like that. Anything that rushes you, I think, is like a problem usually. Rush down type enemies. Oh, this one's like bugging out here. Oh, okay. Horse be gone. Okay, so there's the map down there. Oh, 
sounds a little bit off with my marking. Guess it doesn't matter. Oh shit, oh shit. Smithing stone for oh, cool. Now I can see if I've missed any caves and things. Don't think I really did, honestly. Like I feel like I've maybe like this over here. No, but that's that's where I think Patches kicks you down. So maybe not. I guess I can get rid of this now. Um. Well, I had a bit of a party here. Lord Reichert. If this putrid field of death is what your blasphemy would bring, then I can no longer abide. No one can. Yeah. Uh, what's this? <coughs> this is just like a... Oh, it's another sign of grace here. Cool. It's like on the one end, it's... It's, um... It's kind of like the... the Poetry capital peoples, like... They're like already warlike, it seems. So it's not just the record guy's problem or fault or whatever. But who knows? I guess it's just a war type thing. War never changes. Flowers just bleed bloom wherever there's like lots of blood. Ugh, I'm not a fan of these worm face things. time I I had to like mount to fight it because it was so awkward to to fight it. <laughs> it reminds me of the attack on Titan uh, the attack on Titan like like weird weird uh, um, giants, the sort of the, the, the weaker ones, the ones that are kind of like brainless, the way it's like doing its weird stompy dance thing. <laughs> okay, so it's much easier with, all, with just like riding the pony and doing the... Larval tear, interesting. Oh, there's the... that's the earth tree that I can see from up there. Okay. Doesn't look like there's any sort of caves or anything here, so I guess it's literally just this earth tree thing.
Uh, it's one of those weird, like, corrupted, whatever the fuck this is. I'm out of mana, fuck man. I didn't see I was out of mana. does the weird line, like jump into the air and then grabs you and burns you. That's like, this is probably the hardest one to, well not the hardest one, but the one you have to dodge the most. I say that and now I'm getting <laughs> completely ticked. Okay, so what the fuck's he doing now? to get thrown off the... I should, I should. Ah. Be gone. So what did I get from this? Oh cool, they're in a hard tier. It's really in hidden tier. I haven't really checked what these do. I feel like I'm using the better ones. The ones that heal you for like half and then the little shield one, which I think is very cool. Gives you a free hit. So is that the only thing that's here? There might be an item on the bridge there. Oh wait, there's a... Golden arrow. Interesting. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I, I wanted to not like run off the edge, that's why I turned around and then. Uh, more beast blood. Weird. Okay, so I could probably just teleport back up then. No, it's not that. It's a this. Ninth mount. No, it's not that either. So is it this. Oh yeah, it is. That's so weird. Like, I felt like... Huh. I guess I went all the way down and then kind of through the air because I felt like I was going to be down here somewhere. Okay, let me just teleport back up then. Okay, so let me go to the... Actually, I should be able to level up again. Uh, I need about 10,000... 9,000? Uh, but I only have two of these. So it's at 6,000... I'm not sure if I'm going to keep using the... The Zwyander, I'll see how I feel. It does like suit, it just feels like so sort of natural for me to use it though, like when I'm using it. And it's like, I like the, the light, the, the sort of... Uh, Sacred Blade, or whatever it's called. Uh, 
now I'm living strength feels like weird. Oh well, so faith actually takes it up higher. But my faith is actually f 50, I think, because of the the em emblem thing I have on. Maybe I should just level up mine just to have more mana. And then I can also um, eventually like use whatever you call it, spells. So yeah, let me just fucking do that. Or I can use the blade more. Alright, I don't want to talk to this woman again. So going this way, there's an upstairs as well. Let me check upstairs first. If I can. Martin Francis. Hello. How's it going? There might be a little bit of a delay um, because of the latency. And also, I don't look at chat as often because I'm looking on my phone. Invaded by Inquisitor Giza. Oh, he's got the. whatever you call it. The, looks like a Bloodborne movie. Okay, it's not very strong. Okay, Inquisitor Giza. Or rather, I'm, I'm like much higher level than him, I guess. Giza's wheel. Okay, let's read the thing. What kind of weapon is it? Oh, there it is. It's a colossal weapon. Interesting. Strength and dexterity. Great iron wheel lined with flesh flaying blades, device of torture used by Inquisitor Giza. As the wheel spins, it causes severe pain and blood loss. The design was adopted for use as the iconic weapon wielded by the Iron Virgins. Oh, there we go, it's called an Iron Virgin. Okay, cool. Let's see what the fuck's this? Smithing Stone 6. It's gonna like roll against all the walls <laughs> for a second. None of these walls like kind of look any different, so maybe they aren't. Maybe there aren't any huge walls. I thought maybe the fireplace would be, but I guess not. Like, what should be the wall that I don't roll against? Nope. Okay, whatever. I have the key anyway, so I can just go down. But if I remember correctly, there was like a sort of hidden passageway in one of these rooms. But I think I want to actually do the sort of quest because door shut. Okay, weird. Use the drawing room key. Perfume bottle. Oh, there we go. This one's a secret door. Oh, shit. I guess I can go down here. So I did need the key anyway. Nothing in this room, that's a bit weird. Oh wow, well, so I can just open all these doors. Let me talk to these. Oh, uh, this is the woman that's supposed to give me the let letter that I never got. What's this deal? Recusant finger. Letter from Volcano Manor. Okay, let me see. Oh, I see there's a. Uh, Dawn portrait up there.
Oh. I thought the letter would be over there, but I guess not. Oh, here it is. A written request from the Volcano Manor disclosing the name of a tarnished to be hunted, Old Knight Istapan. He can be found in Limgrave. Find the red mark on the map. Okay, cool. And what was the other thing? It was a finger of sorts. Is this? No, it's this. Oh, it's an online play thing only. This furled finger is covered in snake scales. An heirloom of the Lord of the Volcano Manor bequeathed to tarnished who have become family. Cool. A pleasure to meet you, brave tarnished. I am Raya, the scout. Very pleased to welcome you to the Volcano Manor Raya under the Lady Tanith's guidance. May you tread the path of valor. Okay. Brave tarnished under Lady Tanith's guidance. Who the fuck's this guy? Who are you? And what in heaven's name are you doing here? The Volcano Manor is a pit of recusants who spit at grace and hunt our own kind. I hope you understand the weight of my words. Uh, I, I understand. What, what do I, if I say I don't understand, that seems weird. Well, as long as you understand what you're saying. But know that the path you walk is blasphemy and leads only to a miserable death. <laughs> Before you consider hunting any of your own kind, think on that. Okay. This blasphemous path leads only to a pitiful death. Before you consider hunting and I thought the other Dia Dialos guy was supposed to be here, but I guess I never met him in the swamp area. And also Patches was supposed to be here. Because he kicked me down the hall and told me to stay back. So you can't open it from the other side, but you can open it from this side. Okay. Okay, let me try to do this weird thing where you have to hunt these dudes. Because I didn't do it last time, I literally just... I think I never even went this way. What's the best way to get there? Like, this seems to be the closest. Maybe over here? Huh. I never gave that woman the chrysalis thing either. So what happens when you get, like, fucking sidetracked, man? You just, like, miss NPCs and you go in your own, like, merry way. Oh, look. She left her thing here, actually. Wow, she left me a golden seed. Cool. What the hell? So I've been like just missing out on this free golden seed. <laughs> that sounds a bit dodgy actually. Free golden seed for sale. It's oxymoron. Um run to us. Should probably mark it on the map. I think I also never found there was supposed I think there's a shack type dude in this like over here somewhere that sells uh, ashes of war but I don't I don't think I ever came this way. Anyway it's fine. Let's see if I can fight this guy. Oh, you know what? I found one of these marks in Lin in uh, Altus Plateau, but I couldn't interact with it. So maybe it's literally that's maybe what it's about. I needed this finger in order to, but it says online play, but it did say I needed some sort of finger to interact with it. Competitive multiplayer, small red effigy, dualist world finger. I play offline though, so I'm not really a fan of the multiplayer aspect of the Souls-like games. I don't like all seeing like all the ghosts and all that, that crap. It's not too my own thing. Old Knight is Stefan's world. Story. 
Thornhill. So where is he? Oh, there he is. It's funny that I'm the red. So you don't really get anything from it, you just get uh, a ruin arc and some... Oh, you do get some stuff, cool. Well, let me read his uh, scaled griefs. That's cool, so you get like, a whole set of stuff. It's actually better than mine, but I like my little dragon hat. Helm worn by old knight Istvan. The corroded metal is reinforced with rock hard scales, making it highly effective against non physical attacks. Istvan is one of the few wise and tarnished who survive to this day. Not anymore. <laughs> okay, cool. Let me go back to... Oh, you know what? I never did this. That's fine. I'll just leave it. I think all these things I've marked I'll do once I've, like, completed my playthrough and then I will just do it offline. Because there's so many things I've done where I could go back and do it, but it feels like such a tedious like just task to to do that like it that sort of way i guess so how does this work now is it just gonna keep giving me like tasks like people to kill and then why can't oh it's blocked shut so no Oh uh, no, don't give me a task. So, you've blooded your sword in the hunt. Then I shall introduce myself once Why more. Why this guy's Banal. A recusant, just like you. Recusants have particular battle arts, styled to our methods of slaughter. Why not add some to your repertoire? Then skills. Oh cool, he gives a bunch of Ash of War. Eruption. Sounds vaguely sexual. The Sash of War grants the armament of fire affinity and the falling skill eruption. Enable. Okay, so just an explosion. No skill. Grants affinities and skills to an ornament. What? Oh, sorry. Weird. Okay, so he just gives a bunch of uh, that. You've come to understand now, hey? To take power and make it his own, the recusant must hunt his own kind. To raise the flag of revolt against this sanctified pillaging, we recusants must become the most wretched of predators. All you can do is laugh. Well, until we meet again. It looks like it's a bunch of lions that are like like three lions holding hands or something. Have you ever heard any strange sounds here at the manor? Something beyond the walls? Like breathing or slithering scales? Oh, fie, what am I saying? It just is impossible. I must be tired. Oh. Well, that's different. I haven't actually spoken to this one. Sometimes about this I stuff. hear strange sounds beyond the walls, like breathing. Oh. I mean, there is like literally a beyond the wall thing in this one room here. So how does this work? Do I need to rest at the bonfire to get the next thing? Let's talk to this one too. Did you read the letter left for you? That is the task the Volcano Manor desires you enact. You will be compensated once the deed is done. Good luck. If you are loath to hunt your own kin, so but you must leave this house at once. This is a war against the Erd Tree. We have no place for the meek, nor the luxury of keeping clean hands. You've completed your task. I am pleased. Now you are a recusant true, and a full-fledged member of the Volcano Manor. 
This is your reward, as promised. Magma shot. Never forget that the recusant fights to tread the path of the champion. The way is tainted, but for this very reason, it is the true path to valor. Now you are a recusant true, and a full-fledged member of the Volcano Manor. I am pleased to have you on our side. Now you are I am pleased. Okay, cool. So this is the like fire-based stuff that you get here. I got this one as well, which they all seem to be... Well, this one was about Rikert being a fire mage. One of the sorceries developed from the magma of Mount Gilmer. Okay. After discovering the ancient exes of Gilmer, Rikert, son of Queen Renona, brought them back into practical use as new forms of sorceries. Uh, this just says the same thing. Okay. Cool. So I guess I have to rest to get the next, uh, the next thing. Let's see if she says anything. Now you are oh, no. Okay. Well, maybe there's a different, uh... Uh, there's this fucking asshole. Well, you joined the manor, huh? I don't believe it. Didn't think you had it in you. All good, though. We're on the same side now. We'll do good work together. <coughs> oh, and of course, we can do business, if you like. At his Emporium at the Volcano Manor. Especially for you. So he sells these things. Oh, he sells this as well. I guess I should buy the... the... the stone key. Just get this for the sake of getting it. It's stuck. I, when I played Dark Souls 1 the first time, I used their stock for a while. And it seems to be like the thing that a lot of people do because you can find it quite early on. But I found it very weak. Like, uh, and when I found the Zwyander, I was like, oh, this is, this is the weapon. Are you surprised that I belong to the Volcano Manor? I always hated the gibberish about Lost Grace and the laughable Two Fingers. I thought I could lend a hand in unmasking the charade. Not to mention, Tanith has always made me curious. I guess her master must really be something, because she's pretty damn smug about it. Even after announcing her blasphemous ambitions, she still stands proud. I've never seen a woman quite like her. Cheers for that! Can be found in Altus Plateau. Find the red mark on the map. I think I know where it is. I think I actually marked him on the map already, but I couldn't uh, interact with it. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, no, I think that might have been a bloody finger one. Maybe I'm completely wrong. Oh, this woman's gone now. Maybe she's upstairs. You still alive? Well. Maybe she's. Oh, what the fuck. That's not an enemy. What? Is this the fucking woman? Brave Tarnished. Oh, it is. What is your business here? I'm afraid this is not a guest room. What's that peculiar look upon your face? So creepy looking. Oh, shit. Goodness. Am I still a serpent? Oh, how dreadful. How dreadful indeed. Oh, forgive my distress. I ought to be thanking you for treating me as usual. Despite this appearance, Brave Tarnished, this is my true form. My real name is Zarias. Please forgive the deception. Do understand. This duplicity is my own doing. Lady Tanith speaks no falsehoods. And the Volcano Manor is just as it seems. <laughs> what? Lady Tanith is my mother. 
I am told I was born by the grace of a glorious king, that my mother cherishes this form I inhabit. I am proud of what I am, but people are cruel. If they saw my true form, they wouldn't speak to me, and so I assume a guise when seeking new recruits. But you are not like the rest. My serpentine form and the name Zarias were secrets known only to Lady Tanith and I. Now I share the secrets with you as well. Please keep them safe from anyone else. My serpentine form were secret. Now I share the secrets. Please keep them. Okay. Super. That's really weird. <laughs> But okay, cool. Well, let me see if this woman says anything then. It's like, why are you fucking snakes? Now you are a recuse. I am pleased. Oh, there we go. I can talk to her. Did you see her? The girl, Raya. With her true face. Hmm. Well, if she confided in you the name Zarias, then perhaps it is not my place to speak. But... As her adoptive mother, uh, okay. I ask of you, please, be kind to her. Look after young Zarias. Her true visage belies the purity of her heart. Honestly, I hardly deserve the sweet child. This woman seems like better than... I thought she was some sort of weird cruel woman, but she please seems decent. be kind. Her true visage... Patches, on the other hand, he's just a fucking cunt. <laughs> I want to smash his face in as far as soon as possible. But I also don't want to lose any quest, like, sort of line type shit, so... Ah! Hello! What impeccable timing. This is for you. Oh, you gave me a letter. You're new here at the manor. But if you complete the request, you can improve your standing. Relax. We're old friends. Time's come to pass the torch, right? Go on, break a leg then. <laughs> it's like the guys tried to break my legs like three or four times Hello already. Again. Welcome to Patch's Emporium. In like only this game. Cheers for that. Um, okay, let me read this later. I guess this is going to be like a very quest line heavy recording. Okay. Great Horned Trudgoth. This is addressed to Patches. Oh, I see. So he wants me to hunt his fucking ruin strewn precipice. Oh, I found that place before. Where was that? That was the sort of ex the, uh, the alternative path to the elevator of Dictus or whatever. Let's see if this woman says anything, if I can tell her that Betch is an asshole. Now you are a I am pleased. No, you cannot. Let's see if the snake woman says anything different. Now she's back to her normal, decrepit looking self. My serpentine form. And the name, Zarias, were secrets. No, now I share the secrets. Please keep them. Okay, so she doesn't say anything else. Let's go. You still a lot? Well. Okay, never mind. Okay, well, let me go kill whatever. So there's a red mark there. Really? How do I get there? Uh. Maybe from here. Let's see. I thought it was a different, but I think that's a bloody finger one. Maybe that's one of the other ones that you that you have to do. Oh, I can't ride my horse here. Oh wow! I thought it would die. Guess not.
can't open my map, so I'm just going to assume that it's this, this way. Might be like up above me though. Oh no, here it is. Cool. Phantoms. You may occasionally see faint. Okay. Unless you play offline. Oh, this looks like a terrible. Paragon used the dagger. Oh, I see it's a rock, rock dagger, actually. Oopsie. Oops. Oh, shit. <laughs> what am I doing? It's got an interesting emblem on the back. Oh. That's actually quite a lot of rot pulled up, that uh, dagger. I think that would be quite a strong weapon. Crepus's file and black key bolt. Huh. What is that? Is that a key item? Not a key item. Maybe it's a. Uh... Hmm. Okay, well, maybe it's a charm. Oh, wait, is this the strength one? No, I could actually raise the faith one. I think it'll actually give me more. slightly more damage, you know. Oh, it is, this thing. Small mysterious bottle with a dark mist sealed within. Eliminates all sound made by the wearer during movement. A ritual implement used by round table hold assassins. There was a time in Tarnish who had strayed from guidance, feared nothing more than utter silence. Huh. That's pretty cool. Okay, so where's the other one? It was, uh... There it is. So I can go to Magma Worm, Makar, maybe. Rinstrian, Precipice, Overlook. Maybe this one? Let's try that one first and see... See how it is. This does look like the right way now. Maybe it is in here actually. Huh. Well, if it's not here, then. Further down. Abandoned coffin. Oh, wait. Yes. Let me go from this one, maybe, and then just kind of make my way back, on, like up. See if I can find the thing. I'll mark it on my map. It's kind of that way, so it might be up above there.
Guess I just keep going higher and see until I get to the thing. So there's a ladder here, where the fuck was this guy? Did I get down there before? Huh. See, there's a miner. I must have gone down there. I somehow took like the long, long way. Oh shit. Look, these things are annoying to fight. I wonder if I can just ignore them. an awkward like place like I don't know if I'm actually going the, the right way it might be on the bottom honestly but it could be over here somewhere I think this goes up to the to Alter Split Plateau though. So this no but maybe it doesn't, maybe it goes up to the magma worm. It's like maybe I should have just run out the cave for of the magma worm. I don't know, it's like very weird. Yeah, because this is why Started, so I don't understand. Unless it's like underneath here, like it's the magma worm abandoned coffin. Maybe it's in a mine or something. like up here somewhere, it doesn't seem like it. See if this like kind of backtracks in a different. Uh, oh, here it fucking is. So it's like slightly off where it says it's supposed to be. Okay. Great horned. Oh, I know this guy. He was at. Uh, Redon's festival in like a spirit form. Yo, he's got like poise for days. He's 
it reminds me of like Garrosh L Scream from Warcraft. The armor at least. It's like Manoroth's like horns across the chest. Bull goat helm. Oh cool, and you get his armor. So just like goat. Let's see what it says. Oh, it's very heavy, wow. Greatorn Dragoth's armor covers its wearer with a pair of giant horns, providing stone, staunch poise. Targoth's famed knight of assistance, countless tarnished facing adversary in the lands between, have survived thanks um, only to the Great Horned One's aid. Okay, cool. So he's actually just a famed knight of assistance. That's cool. Okay, let me go back to uh, Volcano Manor. Wow, there's a lot of <laughs> NPCs there. Holy shit. Oh, well, actually, let me just <coughs> talk to this woman like, straight up. I see you've performed another task for us. Here is your usual reward. Please, take it. Serpent Bone Blade. Okay. Now, perhaps the time has come to tell you of the true ruler of this manor, Lord Rikard. The Erd Tree blessed the Tarnished with grace, but it was all too meager in the face of the enormity of their task. The Tarnished were forced to scavenge, squabbling for crumbs, like the Shardbearers vying for power in the wake of the Shattering. Our Lord, indignant, has refused to scurry about, fighting over what miserly scraps they allow us. If the Erd Tree, and indeed the very gods, would debase us so, then we are willing to raise the banner of resistance even if it means heresy. We at the Volcano Manor, under Lord Rikard, have sworn no rest until it is done. If you follow this heroic path, one day the Lord will see you. The Lord's visits with our champions are always a spectacle. It cannot come a day too soon. <laughs> if you follow this, it cannot... Okay. So I can't just tell her that I did Patches one as well. Hello again. Welcome to Patches Import. You hunted down Tragoth? Are you certain? No, it's quite all right. Fine work indeed. I'll give Tanith the news. Have some rest by all means. <laughs> Cheers for that. So I got some sort of blade. I don't know if it's a dagger or... It might be like a katana. <coughs> it was a katana. That oh, looks cool. Sinister katana modeled after a serpent bone. The densely packed row of spines that just jut away from the cutting edge are coated in a lethal poison. Oh cool, so it does poison build up. Okay, that's quite cool. I guess poison is, is not as good as Scarlet Rot though, so I, it will probably fall short of any like Scarlet Rot type weapons. But maybe if you stack the two, that might be pretty good. If you follow this, it cannot come. Okay, so she seems excited. It's you. Forgive me. My mind never ceases to churn of late. Hmm. Well, I know I can trust you. I saw something slithering in the pitch black of night. It entered the room next to this one and never came out. If I'm not mistaken, it took the form of a serpent. 
just like me. Does the Volcano Manor hide some secret that Lady Tanith has kept from me? I realize that I shouldn't impose, but if you discover anything, would you please share? The serpent that lurked in the shadows that night, it entered the room next to this one. Perhaps the manor yet if you discover it. I have discovered the thing already, but now I don't know how to tell her. Oh, it's fine. Red letter. Fancy. Juno Hosler, Knight of Blood. Okay. You can be found in the mountain tops of the giants. Find the red mark on your map for the exact location. Oh, uh, but I can't go there yet. So what does that mean? Am I supposed to not? Uh, that's so weird. That that makes it like very. Look at you, a recusant through and through. I knew you had it in you. Take this. Now you gave me the trestle. Special okay. invitation to hunt some of the first tarnished who sat at the round table hold. If you should <laughs> accept, I'll next see you on the field of battle. You're still alive. Well. Okay, so this guy gave me a letter. So it's like fucking let letters for days. <laughs> letter from Patches. Letter from Bernal. Fargram, the Raging Wolf, and Errant Sorcerer Wilhelm. That's interesting because I, I killed another guy who had a thing with Fargram. And he was locked up for it, but now I can't remember who it was. I think it was a mage of sorts. Both men can be found in the royal capital of Lindell. Find the red mark on the map to exact location. Okay. So, yeah, see, so I haven't, even, I haven't even been here. That's like crazy. And then this one is Volcano Vagram. That's so weird. So am I supposed to like not not kill like Rikert until going to the fucking uh, whatever you call it? The volcano area. That's like so counter like intuitive. Okay, so this is this thing. But it doesn't seem like I could actually talk to her about it, so maybe I have to rest again. Because I can literally just go through Volcano Manor now and like go kill Record, but these quests are like making it like weird if I want to do the quests. So I might then if I you guess. Follow this, it cannot. Like, oh shit! Oh, I need to talk to the. Wait, let me see if I can tell this the Serpent Girl first, or if if that's like only one option. The serpent that it entered the perhaps the if you discover. No, I have to tell the lady of the house type of thing. Okay. If you follow, it cannot. She said that. To you, I should have known something was wrong. The signs were clear enough. Well, Zarias has placed her trust in you. All the more reason I must tell you that some things are better left unknown. Besides, no one should be blamed for their heritage. Think about it. We are resisting the ways of the Erd Tree itself. What matters one's lineage in such a crisis? Zarias has placed her trust in you. That some things are better left un. So can I tell her anything? The serpent that entered perhaps if you discover Yeah, she says I can literally just go through then to the sort of rest of the manor. I guess what I could do is I could do the volcano manor and then just Hello again. Well not uh, uh what what about my reward? <laughs> Sharper than you seem, aren't you? I was just holding on to it for you, you know. Here you go. 
The reward for hunting Tragoth. All yours. Magma whip candlestick. Interesting. Stingy little beggar. Try to find it in your heart next time, eh? <laughs> what an asshole. Oh, it's not sure what. This ritual implement is a th three pronged candlestick with solid flames formed of the magma of Mount Galmir. When wield as a weapon, the flames become subtle whips of lava. Oh wow, it's a faith weapon as well. That's pretty, that's cool. Might try that. Just to, just to see. Oh, that's a weird, weird feeling weapon. Yeah, it's like I'm not used to it. It feels really weird to use. So I think I'd rather like not use it. Like the the there's a big delay in like when you attack with it. That makes it feel awkward to me. Okay, so which other so it's literally just this one that I have. And then this other one is for the other dude, it's not So I wonder Huh. Yeah, well, that's very like weird to me. Let's see if I can talk to this guy. You still alive? No. Well. Okay, well then I guess I should just go through this tunnel and I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll do all this stuff and then just not kill Riker. Because I think as soon as you kill him, these people all like fuck off from the manor. So then I won't be able to do that quest line at all. It's like just so counterintuitive to. I don't know, it just feels counterintuitive. So I can go down there. See, there's a snail up there. Because that's basically what happened last time when I was. When I played in my first playthrough, I killed Rikers, and then, like that was it. I didn't do the quest line for the for these people. Really, really seems like it should be. Oh, this one is. Oh, cool. The brave perfumer. Carmon. Oh, so I can't actually open this door. I wonder if this is what I'm supposed to find and then... The brave perfumers practice their art for themselves alone. Carmon was a notably formidable perfumer whose strength rivaled that of heroes. And it is said that he was in search of a secret physique of revivification <laughs> that's like a, that's a word and a half okay really thought this would be a anyway these are some interesting lanterns like what the fuck there's coals in them it's kind of like a brain or something. Or it might just be, oh no, I see, it's just some type of stone. They're just not lit. Red candles. Ah, oh, it's one of these dudes. Oopsie. Ah, uh, they does a lot of damage. Bloodhound claws. I first tried liver. 
can see it's like I'm already over level for this area and if I go to Lindell first and then volc the volcano area and then come back I'll be even fucking more over leveled. Uh, let's see... Oh, okay, it says legit. <laughs> it says like almost nothing. I think if I find a waypoint, I'll teleport back to the woman and see. Oh, there's a waypoint right here. Wait, but where the fuck does this go? Doesn't this just go back into the house? Oh uh, no, it doesn't. It goes into the sort of courtyard of the back of Volcano Man. Okay, cool. Well then, let me teleport back. See if I can tell the woman about the back of the Volcano Man or no. That's like one thing I don't like about the Souls like. So well, no, actually, it's specifically Elden Ring, because the other Souls like games. You kind of find the NPCs eventually if you... You can miss them, but you you can also find them and it's not as hard. But in this game, there's so many NPCs and they're like all over the fucking map. The serpent that lit entered the perhaps and if you discover... Oh, there we go. Teller of the dark side of Volcano Manor. Um, I mean, I haven't really seen much, but... Really? Oh, so there was a secret after all. Oh my... Lady Tanith. My own mother has deceived me. Was I not born by the grace of a king? Lady Tan, was I not born by... Okay, so what is this done now? Let's see if this woman says anything. If you follow this, it cannot come a day. Nope. Rest. If you follow, it cannot come. Really? What? Who the fuck's this? Someone please kill him. That horrendous serpent. Praetor Rikard. Who the fuck's this guy now? Hmm. You're tarnished. Here to put the demigods to the sword. Then please, kill the great serpent. The one that devoured Praetor Rikard. I left the serpent slaying spear in the Lord's chamber. Worthy tarnished. Brandish the spear and run him through. The great serpent. That uns... Unspeakable monstrosity. Pray to Rikard's ambitions, though blasphemous. Marked him a worthy sovereign, but they were reduced to gluttonous depravity once he gave himself to the serpent. Whatever that thing is, it is no longer Praetor Rikard. Someone must kill him to spare him and his ambitions from further dishonor. This guy kind of looks like uh, like one of the knights. So I guess he's one of the knights that, that was like, fuck this, I'm out. Worthy tarnished. It is the only thing that can kill that horror, run it through. Okay, so you just keep kind of saying the same thing. Worthy it is the run. But then again, like, who is this guy? Let's see if this guy says You still alive? Well. Also, I didn't see if this woman was in here. There no, she is. Lady Tanith. Was I not home by the I'm so confused why what triggered this guy from like being here? It's 
so strange. Maybe it's because I went into the. No, I don't know. If you follow this, you cannot come. And oh, no, it's just gone. Okay, so he was just like a ghost, I guess. Lady Tan, was I no home? But maybe it's literally just to tell you to use the sort of special weapon. You stick. Well. Okay. Well, whatever. Uh, prison town church. Sounds fancy. So I can go up. And I can go down. You see there's a serpent dude over there. Well, let's see what's up here then. Thing over there. And a bridge that's been lowered. Okay. How do I get up there? I want to use horse. Huh. Okay. Guess I'll go down. Whoa. <laughs> That's creepy. <laughs> type things. I guess this is the online play area. Oh, shit. Shouldn't struggle with this too much because I'm like... It doesn't deal with a ton of damage though. Oh. Uh, don't lie. Whoa. Much damage has been dealt. Oh, it actually killed me. <laughs> what the fuck? It's like, bitch. <laughs> I'll show you overleveled death. Maybe I'm not overleveled then. Maybe it's just that like, my damage is very high, but uh, the enemies deal me quite a lot as well. Smackety smackety smack. lucky shot because I got like to deal like a lot more damage to the thing. Ah, uh, so these are just like machines. So I wonder what the lore of the Iron Virgins are. If they are just machines, or if they're actually like like husks of corpses or something, maybe the spirit of something has been forced into a machine or something. Yeah. So I can go down here. It's an industrial-looking place. It's like kind of like uh, the Saruman of this world. It will breed an army. Yes, yeah, that's poisonous, dude.
bad dog. It is me, a bad dog. <coughs> okay, so this guy's just throwing random shit at me. Is there a way for me to get up there? Let's see, can I jump across? There's a... Uh, if I fall down there somewhere... I can, I can jump across here. Maybe jump across there, I see there's a snake on the roof. Wait, is this a... Uh, no. Maybe if I go down here? See, there's some shit down there. Let me kill the snake first. Murdering the brothers and sisters of the that other woman, half snake girl. Whatever her name is. Can I jump across here? That seems possible, but it also seems like a okay, no one. I was gonna say it seems like a difficult jump, but it was relatively easy actually. So I can jump down there. That's kind of where I would have ended up anyway. That's all the way to the bottom. It's trying to like not miss stuff, but it's so easy to miss things in this game. Especially the like the NPCs. That's cool. So they built their manor off, like almost on the volcan volcano. I guess if you can control fire, if you're like a fire mage, then it wouldn't affect you as much. What is this? Now he's up there. Sir, or an asshole. Might have been better not to lock onto him there if like, I could have fallen down. If Golden Rune 9. anything this is just ends up being back at the top here I can jump down and see there's one of those spirit beetles guess I should jump down here try kill this beetle wonder if this is too high of a drop well let's see <laughs> fucking missed I hit too early, I don't know if this is too high. Somber smithing stone 5, really. Don't think that was worth it, really. There's a omen killer. Ah, uh, right. He does the mini, mini attacks. Be gone, omen killer scum. Great Omen Killer Cleaver, so that's the second one. So I could probably use it the same as he was using it. Like, dual wield them. Golden Moon 6. thought they would have like something over here. Strange. A 
Earth Tree Seal. So this looks like a dude that's in, been in prison, so I wonder what this is. It says that I'm blind. <laughs> oh man, isn't this seal like, isn't it like a weapon? Yeah. Uh, it needs 40 faith. I have 40 faith. See, it does holy damage. In Incant scaling, okay. A former sacred seal decorated with an herd tree crest, once the focus of religion in the lands between. Even though the Elden Ring is shattered and the Earth Tree has dulled from its former radiance, Ernest's faith continues to hold the answers. Okay, cool. I wonder if I can, like... I wonder if I can use that and then... And then I'll be able to use spells as well. So it's like... If I want to cast like spells, I can go like this and then start like just casting it. I'm trying to see what it looks like. So it's just like my hand is like glowing golden. Because that could be cool. Because I've got a, I've got a lot of like incantations and stuff that I could like become like a bit of a spell singer. Like spam them with spells and then smack the shit out of them. Especially like the lightning spells, I, I'd like to try those. See how it goes. Um, or how I feel. Okay, so I, w I was going to come from down up there. And what's this other way though? Beast blood. I guess I can jump down there. Maybe go up and then up there to where the cages are, but I don't know. That seems like a very far jump. I guess I can try it. The bonfire is not very far, technically. Wee! Oh wow, it's actually makeable. Nice. Ah, cool. These have become very like rare. Might be better to actually just do this. So now I'm right at the bottom. I uh, see this graveyard. See, there's some pot dudes in the middle there. There's some pot dudes here. Oh, wow, okay. They're explosive pots. That could have ended very badly for me. <laughs> That's funny. That is a big pot. There's an enemy. Oopsie. Bye. Uh, this one's not explosive. Smoldering shield. Okay, I'll read it just now. I just want to see if there's any enemies attacking me. Nope. It's a small shield. Small shield made upon Mount Galmir Forge from uncooling lava. Resists frost with its heat and can even be used to deal fire damage if wielded as a weapon. Okay, not a lot of lore, but it's fine. So how do I get this? Do I just run and jump? Ugh. Okay, so the the lava doesn't deal too much damage, actually. A 
like Dark Souls 1's lava. This looks like a interesting it's like sort of coffin that wait is there anything down here actually? No. Oh should have run. This is like very maze like. It's almost like reminds me of like kinda like Blight Town in Dark Souls one. Can I make this jump? Really? Oh, there's a... Uh, one of these dudes. Unless I have to make that jump over there, that might be more doable. So this looks like... Is that where I came from? It does seem like you should be able to make this jump though. Oh, uh, you know what, like, maybe like that, like from here, yes, huh, whether there's any, like, it items over here, that looks like it shouldn't be, Visible. Ah, uh, cool. So this is where I came from. I really feel like this place. Uh, I even missed it. I was gonna say, I feels like I could miss items very easily over here. And I've already missed some items. Ugly looking snake bird. I did read some lore about the assassins of this place trying to be birds of prey. It's a chapel. Oh, wow, really? Okay. Trying to see what's down there. timing had just been a little bit off there, I think I would have fucking <laughs> gotten grabbed again. Oh, interesting, it's got the earth trees, like, I guess this was an earth tree, like, church or something. What the hell? He tried to grab me. an amber medallion. I've gotten this before. Can't remember. Oh no, I've got the other one. Razor's max in. Okay, so this one. Oh wow, it gives me like almost like 250 HP. That's quite strong if I feel like I ever need more life. No, this is blood. That's so disturbing. Or is it like water? I'm getting a decent amount of souls here, actually. Be gone, snake man. Oh, wow, I'm surprised he missed me with his weird attack. 
Oh, so I can go that way. Can I open this? Cannot open from the side. Okay. No. Oh. So, item. Albinoric blood clots. Right. So I can actually keep going that way, but I'd rather go around. And this I'm supposed to go that way. It's a ladder. It's a very, like, sneaky ladder. It almost blends in with the environment. That's a cool looking castle. Like, a lot of the architecture and stuff in this game is actually very, like, cool. I mean, all the Dark Souls games, and honestly, or just all the FromSoft games, they just have very cool, like, buildings and design, like... I mean, it's obviously inspired by certain sort of, like, real-world stuff, but... Oh, shit, look at this. What the fuck's down here, though? That's, like... difficult. Like, I can see there's a thing there, but I don't know... Oh no, it's like kind of dangling. Oh, it's alive. Whatever that is, it seems to be alive. It might be Alban Norix. So where the fuck am I going now? That's where I came from. I could have. There's an item there. So let me jump down and get it. I wonder if they'll ever bring back the Dark Souls, uh... Oh, look at this one. Oh, it's just the body. It doesn't have a head. Dark Souls 1 thing where you can cut off the tails of, like, like dragon bosses. I thought that was a cool design. But maybe it's like, just very weird to, to do with their engine that they use or something? I don't know. Maybe it's, like, too much work. Oh, you know what? I should be able... To, if I jump through here, I can probably open the door. So I should probably do that. Yeah, that's fine. Let me just fucking do it. It is an oven mark. Are they, like, weird? What the fuck? Oh, it's, like, weird. Like, it's gonna be, like, torture or some shit. Ugh, that's fucking creepy. It's like giving you like a fucking chill. Uh, it was, I think it is a shortcut. Yeah, it is. Heavy door. Oh, okay, and I could have fallen down here. And I could have jumped across there, so there's multiple ways to get you. I just want to see if there's anything else here. There might be. There's more of those weird dudes. So I guess they turn them into these weird, like, these things? That's what the old torture thing is about? Fucking creepy. Is this one that's alive? It is, I couldn't target it. Which is very strange, because usually you can target things when they're just lying on the floor. So there's one of those things, but I feel like... Oh my god. Yosos. That's like damage and a half. Oh, fuck off. Creepy motherfucker. Smack. Smack. Uh, 
Um, yeah, I was. Uh, I was thinking that something like that would happen. But then I was like, he didn't do it immediately, so I was like a little confused. There's a door. There's a snake. Oh. That doesn't seem fair. Why can you hit the walls? Axe. Oh, there's a sign of grace. Cool. don't really want to rest here, but at the same time, I'm like, I can probably level up. Nah, maybe I'll keep it for a bit. Um, can I open the store? Oh, well, I can, actually. Interesting. Oh, ah, there's a ladder. Descent, so I can go into the lava. And I guess go across there. Where does the other door go? Explosive great bolt. Uh, it just loops around. Yes, it does. It just loops around. So I have to go down there, I guess. Okay, well, if that's the case, then I might as well rest here to replenish my potions. Potion. <laughs> Maybe I should. Uh, oh, you know what? I can. Uh, I can learn spells. What? What do you call it? Equipped spells. So I've got so many fucking uh, offensive incantations. I got lightning, spear, and bolt. Oh, actually, you have this thing, which needs forty. So let's make that one. But they take quite a lot of mana, right? Twenty-two, eighteen for lightning spear. I uh, even got frozen. <laughs> Just flame of the fell god. I actually want to get rid of this, uh, that one, because that's uh, dragon skill is garbage. Produces golden shockwave that knocks back foes. Golden vow increases attack and defense. Increases a Oh wow, look how much FP it takes. 47. That's crazy. Increases affinity damage negation. Bolsters Gosser's body with lightning. Flame cleans me. Cures poison. That's cool. And Scarlet Rot. Raises physical and fire affinity attack power. I think that's enough for now because that's so many. So, can I actually use this? Yeah, I can. Let's see what it looks like. Uh, not like that. Whoa, that's fucking cool. <coughs> and then lightning spear. That's that she was throwing a bolt of lightning. Honed bolt. Okay, so that's like a lightning bolt from the top. Uh, cool, that's very similar to the red one. And then flame cleans me. Okay, that's just a buff. Alright. But I drain like through my mana so quickly, so I'll have to like level my mind like quite a lot to be able to use. Actually, what I could do is I could just uh, use uh, 
I could get some mana potions as well. Because I don't think I need... I don't think I need so many... Uh... Problem with this is then it becomes like hard to... Kind of juggle between my... When I use like what... Like spells and stuff. And also even the spells. That's like quite difficult to cycle through. Let me see how much uh, I need. 16,000. Might as well use these, some of these things while I can. This one gives like 15,000, so might as well use that one. Should I turn it off? I'm using this lantern because the in dark areas the quality of the video goes down a lot. smoldering butterflies. Don't know if that's worth it. That was weird, that was like a weird like illusion thing there. Maybe it was this guy. Can I run up here? No, I can actually. Sombra smithing stone. I'd be curious to see what the actual order of areas are that you're supposed to do in this game. Because I feel like I've been over leveled in every area I've gone to now. Unless I just haven't like died died enough. Let's go first just to see what's there. If there is anything. It's not slow. Oh, there might actually be some shit here. This where you find Alexander like basking in the in the heat of the lava or whatever to harden himself. And then I think he says he's gonna go to the fire giant mountain or whatever. What is this? Oh. Maybe you can find him over here if you don't find him down there. I don't know. Feels like a place where there should be an NPC. But I've missed so many NPCs throughout like, the game that I think there's a lot of storyline, like quests, that I've like kind of missed where they. I just didn't find them, so it becomes like a dead end. I uh, guess it doesn't matter. I feel like there's some stuff down there actually. It 
it's lava has a very like jelly kind of look to it oh there's one of those weird salamander things so I guess I have to run across here Like an elevator. But if I take this, I guess it'll go up here. No, but I've got like no soul, so if I die here, it doesn't matter. Oh. I was really convinced I was gonna get him. It's quite a strong one. See how much damage it dealt. <laughs> Fuck. So much for that. Fuck. Oh my god. What? Oh, okay. <laughs> got ripped. Doesn't look like this lightning blade thing does that much damage. I guess you have to like really sort of spam it if you if you want to use it. Okay, probably just run past here. Is it this way? No, it was this way. Disappear after. Oh, no, no. Like this one's like very strong. Eh? Doing a lot of damage to him. This like rush move that he does is like so awkward. Like how the fuck? Stood up. 
Holy shit. That's like a, so much damage. What the actual fuck? Fuck. Oh, crit. Yeah, get wrecked. Oh, he's not dead. <laughs> I was like waiting for the, like, where's my item? Hey, fucking hell. Yo, that was like a strong one. It's like, that was like crazy damage. Like, holy shit. Um, okay, so this is, there's nothing here though. Oh wait, there's an item at the back. I was like a little bit disorientated for, for a bit there. How do I get there? Guess I can try and run and jump and then roll across like this. Smithing stand 7. At least the lava doesn't do a lot of damage. There's actually an elevator over here, I'm gonna see where that goes. At least I think it's an elevator, might not be. Let's see where it goes. What's that Castlevania? Oh shit, I saw I, I missed a message. My phone must have timed out, so I didn't see the... Oh, shit. I've never played a Castlevania game. I've only played the Doom mod. <laughs> so that is one... Uh, but yeah, it does look like the Castlevania anime. Like, I don't know when you gave me that message, but that was like, must have been a long time ago. Because uh, that's when I mentioned. Yeah. Um... But yeah, I, I, I have had Castlevania, like, a set of games on my Steam wishlist for a while, but then I got, I think I've actually removed them, because I've, they've just been there for so long that I was never really gonna, I probably was never gonna get to, to play it or whatever, so I just took it off. But now I've got a bunch of other games again. Uh, there's one of those Black Flame cleric, clerics. So this guy's just aligning himself with like, or allying himself with all the fucking heretic type dudes. It's like, fuck the system. I will become god of this land. Oh, uh, I do actually have a mana potion that I'm using. Surprised there's no... I suppose I could have gone back, it's fine. Black Flame Cleric. I think this is actually a boss fight. So I might have to actually backtrack to to get my potions back. Oh wait, I see this the bridge on the other side. Oh, uh, but then there's a there's a bonfire over there, so that actually works out. Almost missed this. Oh, cinematic. Cool. Oh, I was drinking some coffee. Is the quality of the stream okay? Because like I put my pit rate up to fifteen thousand. And I'm not sure if my internet can handle that. Like, it might cause a lot of latency. 
because I thought maybe if I up my bitrate, maybe that will help with my quality a bit. But I've tried it before and it didn't haven't done anything. YouTube just like really punishes you for using 1080p as a as a streaming thing. Once their sort of encoder is through and puts it on HD or whatever, it seems to just really fuck me. So I'll eventually have to just get try get a ultra HD um, monitor. How the fuck do I get up there? I see there's like even a Iron Virgin up there. So I'm gonna get to this bonfire so I can replenish my potions. I wonder if this is actually a decent bonfire to go from here though. Oh, uh, let me let me actually replenish. I think what I should do is I should uh keep one mana potion. But I'm I'm probably not gonna use the the spells at all. They they seem too weak, man. But I the like the holy blade is, is pretty good though. Like is there any way I could jump up here maybe? No. Cause I'm trying to see. Huh. I don't know. Yeah, that's fine. Looks like source. Oh, really? <laughs> then maybe it's just the... Maybe it's just the... Um, after YouTube's done, like, processing their sort of high-definition version that it fucks with my VOD or whatever. It's a little bit annoying. I wonder if I should kill this guy again. No, it's fine. Let me just go in here. Yo, look at this. Kinda looks like something from Diablo or something. It's very cool. Uh, fought one of these on Ronnie's uh, before getting Ronnie's port. Oh shit. Stamina. Yeah, it does a ton of damage actually. This. Shit. What if I can get behind like the pillar? Yes. <laughs> Sucks to be you. Does he just not stop rolling? Okay, he does. Cool. <laughs> oh my god, he's gonna fucking kill me. I see he's got a dragon tail at the back. Maybe it's like a maybe they're all snake people. Yes. Yo, it's epic music. Dude, give me a chance, man. Oh no. Ah, uh, there we go. Ah, uh, fuck off. It's like a strong enemy. Noble presence. Okay, let me see what the Godskin Stitcher does. That's probably a. Yeah, there we go. Elegant piercing sword with a celadon colored blade, wielded by Godskin nobles. The nobles possess skill with the sword unmatched by any new lowborn, sorry. Despite its. Ah. Despite its size, success, successive attacks <laughs> from this weapon are swifter than the eye can follow. Wow, what a mouthful. 
fucking hell. Let me get rid of that, because I'm not using it. And then what was the other thing? It was like a Ash of War, I think. No. <coughs> hmm. I thought it was one of these things, but maybe... Lightning Ram. That might be interesting. <coughs> Maybe it was one of these... Maybe it was one of these things? Huh. Oh, well, whatever. It is what it is. Is. Oh, look at that. It's interesting. Serpent Amnion. Amnion from the mother's womb which cradled the poor unwanted offspring of a repellent birthing ritual. It will never dry out, remaining damp indefinitely. Um, okay. Whatever. If, if, if that's what you're into. So, maybe I should go talk to the woman. Uh, actually, I wanted to see how much I need. 8,000. I guess I will just level my mind more so I can still use the ability because I think the sword's ability is still pretty good. Okay, let me go talk to the NPCs of Volcano Manor. See if any of them has anything to say about this weird fucking snake fetus. Especially this woman, actually. If you follow this hero, it cannot come. No, you can't say anything to this. Maybe to this. There's the other guy again. Maybe I can give him the snake fetus. Lady Tanith, was I not torn by the. Oh, there we go. You can give it to her. Why would you give it to her? Hmm. What is this? I remember this sense distinctly. Yeah. Mm. Funny, isn't it? I am certain of it. I was born inside this. It's a part of my birth, mother. You have my gratitude. Thanks to you, I am no longer afraid. I want to know how I was born and met Lady Tanith. One day, I hope to call her mother once again. This time from the bottom of my heart. It's like very disturbing. I want to know. One day, I hope to call... Okay, so it's not a fetus, it's like a... I guess it's like a weird egg sack type thing. If you follow this, it cannot come. No. Does she not say anything about it? 
If you follow, it cannot come. Really? Oh, she does. There we go. Zarya's absence. No. I haven't seen Zarya's anywhere. And she has no scouting duties now. Has she gone off in search of answers? Why won't she just listen? May I ask your aid? Not as the manor's proprietress, but as Zarya's mother. If she discovers the answer to her question, and it causes distress, have her drink this potion to purge that which would cause her pain. Tonic of forgetfulness. Uh... Yes, I know. My wish is a grave disrespect to her. No different than the Erd Tree's imposition. But I've no choice. It must be done. So that's why she keeps like seeming like she spaces out because the mother keeps feeding her like poison or whatever. My wish is a grave, but I've no choice. I guess you could choose to not give her the potion. Tonic in a small brass vial banishes distress and bitter memories. A gift bestowed by Reichert, sworn to blasphemy to Lady Tanith, who unfortunately had no use for it. My lord, there could be no greater distress than to forget you. Okay. So it was like, I'm gonna become this monstrosity thing. Please forget. And then she's using it on the on the this whatever snake girl. But now the snake girl's not here anymore. So I guess she's gone further into the You still alive? Well And this thing okay, so this dude here keeps appearing randomly. And then I guess it's literally if you're stuck, you like don't know how to defeat Rikert or something, and he tells you like, "Oh yes, you must use the sword." Hello again, welcome. Strider, fine. Okay, well, that's fine. So where the fuck was I actually? Guess all. Oh, what's this? Like, so on. No, yes, it is. I was right. He is underneath. Guest Hall, Prison Town, Temple of Eagle. Wait, but for yes, no, he is down there. And then he says he's going to go to the giant flame of the giants or something. I was thinking of stopping here, but I think I'm going to actually keep going a bit, because now I'm interested in finding this weird, freaky... But no, actually, I don't know where the fuck you would find her, so that's... Tanith, Volcano Manor... So many NPCs... I guess she would just go further into the... into this church... Isn't there a fake wall there in that one room you can roll through? Uh, which one? By the... by the NPC woman. So I have found that one. I found the one, uh... That's how I got here. Like, I, I had to go through there to, to get... to get further along. There's an item over there. Oh, 
this is just a puffless sneak thing. Did I miss anything here? No. I can go out there as well, but maybe this just goes around. It does look like it just goes around. There's the earth tree over there. There's a red wax candle. Thought maybe it shows you a drop point, but it doesn't. There's nothing up here. No. Oh, I can jump over here. Oh shit. There would be a item down here, but I see there isn't. Weird. It's an armor thing, but it's like I need to just equip more, like, stronger armor. Because these things are dealing me, like, quite a lot of damage, but I felt like I was relatively, like, high HP. See, there's a window there, I just wanted to see if there's anything around this way. This. I don't know, so this just literally goes further. Looks like I can jump down there maybe, but also it looks like it's a very high drop. Lava 
was better. Ah, oh, see, there's a. It's one of those beetles. <laughs> No, no, come back. Oh, nice. <laughs> Burned in lava. It's funny. Oh, okay, so that's... Oh, maybe this is how... Maybe this is how I can get that item from, from over here. Oh, it's the, it's the woman. Wow, oh, that was easy. It's you. That's lucky, actually. I'm afraid there is something I must tell you. I was an unwanted child, born not of grace, but of a hideous ritual, something that can never be accepted, not by men, nor serpents. Even Lady Tanith shouldn't accept me. I know that you have done so much for me, but I wish to ask one last kindness. Kill me, please. I thought that I feared nothing. But this, free me from this accursed frame. Hmm. Wonder which is the best option. I feel like the tonic is the better option. But then it's also like kind of living in the matrix, right? But that's how most people live anyway, so I'm living in the matrix right now. <laughs> mm. Yeah, it's fine, just Time to take drink the fuck this then. Blue pool. Yes, of course. You always were very kind. Delightfully sweet, and yet... <laughs> okay, cool. Well, that was lucky that I found her, because it was so, like, in a random location. Like, what the fuck? So she has some weird half-abomination thing. No, man, I thought this is how I would get over there, but now I see it's... It's not. So I think I was right. I think, like, she is, like, uh... No, actually, I don't know. Let's do this. I don't know if Tanith is her, like, real mother. That, like, fucked a serpent. Maybe Riker. That's probably why he gave her the potion, so it's like so she could forget about it. Um, I don't know. Oh wait. Oh no. Oh. No, go away. Creepy fucking thing. Okay, so this is where I came from. That's and then I jumped down there. Okay, I was trying to figure out how I got there. Oh, there's another there. So it's just a shortcut, I think. I need to make sure. Who the hell is this now? Oh, yes, it is. I'm, I'm right. Shortcut. Um, I don't think I need the potions. Okay.
Oh, there, there was a door there. So I can go one, one door down. Oh, cool, another one of these things. Oh, wait, so this is... Okay, okay, I see, I see. So there's multiple ways to come in here and get this woman's thing. I think you have to actually do this, though. From what I could tell, it's like it seems... So now I need a waypoint to reset that... I suppose I got the shortcut now, actually. Let me go back to the w this other woman just to see what if she says anything now. I guess she would have like said a different. If I killed the girl, I suppose maybe I could have lied about it. Let's see what she says. If you follow this, it cannot come. I gave her the potion. Thank you for allowing me this. I will never be a good mother. My heart is too frail. Our Lord must have known this all along. <laughs> My meekness is all too clear. Sweet Zarias, have I earned your scorn? Sweet. Okay, so now I wonder though, is that woman, that girl back here, or? No, so she just stays there. Weird. Yeah, she that she just she that she just stays there. That's so like strange. Oh, I'm running the wrong way. And it's like I didn't get any reward for this quest line, so I'm wondering if the quest keeps going or if it's like, uh, if like that's it. I just wanted to see if she, if she's still here, or if she, what happens with her. No, she just stays here. Okay. Maybe there's another thing that happens to her, like if you keep going, like maybe further along. It's just the shortcuts. The fuck? Commoner's headband. Where's this dude that looks like throwing poison? <coughs> Don't see it. Oh, he's got one of the fire whips. Whoa, I don't know how to do that. Does that. <laughs> That's pretty cool.
just some weird cult of the serpent. Oh, they actually explode. Okay. Man, serpent, ashes. Ah, what the fuck? What does it mean? It's a very Conan the Barbarian style uh, encounter. This. Okay, let me see. Spirit of a deformed man serpent that wields a whip of magma. It is said that long ago the elder serpent that dwelled on Mount Gelmir devoured a demigod and the birth of the man serpents followed. Okay. So the weird fucking egg thing on his head. It's like an egg sack. It's protecting his head. What the fuck? Man serpent shield. Cool. Oh, uh, this is uh this is the throne room. This is uh Rikert's throne. Okay, I see. Um, so what did I pick up now? Shield. Said to have been... To, oh, okay, no, so it doesn't really say anything. Resistance to fire. See, they have the packs, one of those, uh... Imp... Imp doors? The item up there, how the fuck do I get that? Because this is like jumping downwards. Maybe there's an elevator or something. I see there's a door down there. Oh, this is a drop and a half. Really? That seems uh, unnecessary. Oh fuck, but there's an item up there though. Fuck. Can I make this drop? Maybe over there? There's a lot of those Alban Norik dudes down there. Guess I have to. Oh, didn't take any damage. Ah, uh, no, fuck off. Seatbed 
bunkers. Okay, so this guy was just basically killed. Oh well, I've got eight of these hearts. Curse grown on a corpse killed and defiled by the dung eater. A tender pox afflicted with omen horns. Okay. The dung eater cultivates the seedbed curse on corpses. By doing so, he prevents dead souls returning to the earth tree, leaving them forever cursed. One of the most lo loathsome things found in all the lands between. Okay, so he curses them to to be cursed. <laughs> I was hoping it would open the... Because it hasn't done it, so I thought, like, maybe let me try and... Look. Oh, this is the fucking item, man. This is the item that I was trying trying to figure out how the fuck to get by the bridge. Finally managed to find it. So I had to, like, literally go all the way around. But now there's, there were other items in that uh, room that's, like, that I missed now. That's a backtrack, it seems, anyway. No, shit. <laughs> Got a fright. I guess I have to talk to the dung eater guy about this curse mark of his. Oh, I see, there's another item here. Ash of War, Royal Knight's Resolve. I guess this is Rikard. This woman just sitting here, like, looking at his like, picture. Okay, let's see. Royal Knight's Resolve, skill of the knights who once served the Elden Lord. Hold the flat of the armament to your face and pledge your resolve, greatly powering up your next attack. Usable on all melee armaments. So it's literally a once off thing you use it, and I guess it must do a ton of damage or something? This looks like a shortcut type. Is this a door across from Patches? Yeah, it is too. So I came all the fucking way around. Okay. Hello again. Market Shekel. So you can buy that right at the start. I guess to have a better chance against Market. Sorry. I think what I'll do is I'm gonna go talk to the pox dude or whatever dung eater guy. If you follow, the it cannot. And then um, I'll probably just teleport back in and probably log out. It's like I feel like I'm getting tired now, so I'm just gonna, I think that's all I'm gonna do. Um, I've been, I keep like not really coming back here for like a long period of time because it's like you get really distracted. And also I keep forgetting which, which way is which. 
Let's talk to this guy. No. Wait. You have felt the curse. I can smell it on you. The box, yet tender. Apparently my seat bed is ripe and waiting. It was a brief respite, I must say. Go and unshackle my corporeal flesh, trapped in the sewer jail below the capital. Sewer jail key. I can kill you and defile your corpse. Then the pox will truly be your own. Go and unshackle trapped in this. I can kill in the pox. I don't really understand this guy. Like, why would you want to not kill him? Like, everything about him just seems like he's an asshole. Toxic type of motherfucker. I guess this guy doesn't say anything new. Journey to the camp. The two fingers. You maybe. Praetor Rikard is the lord of the volcano manor on Mount Gel. He is a ruthless justicia who commands a company of inquisitors, reviled for his serpentine demeanor. The volcano, Mount Gelmir, why it was the stage of the most up. Rikard has committed the grave sin of blasphemy. Okay. It's like I don't know what the time of the shattering, what, how long, how many, like, year, years. Ugh, sorry, I want to cough. <clears throat> I, like, I don't know how many years is between the shattering and this time period that you play in. Like, it seems to be, like, quite a, quite a long this well, time. Well, I took you my no matter it. Lay out your own. Oh, cool, I can actually do all this stuff. Hmm. Greetings. Are you here for spit? I can hear it from the howling. You should keep your distance. Okay. I know you're strong. She just says the same thing. Okay, cool, let me teleport back there then. Yeah, look at all these, like, the map's so massive. Um, so which one was it? it's, it's I think it's this one, right? Yeah, so I'm just going to call it there, I think. And then I'll keep going from here on my next one. Because now, uh, problem is, like, I, want, I don't want to kill Riker until I do the quest line, so I need to... So I think what I'll do is I'll go until you kind of get to Rikert and then go to Lindell so that I can get here and do this fucking quest thing. And then come back to kill Rikert after I've like completed the quest line. Because I haven't done that on my first playthrough, so... It's like, I want to see what kind of like happens <laughs> with like this woman's quest line. So yeah, cool. So I'm just going to log out here now. And then uh, I'll keep playing it from here from next time. Cool shot. Thanks a lot for watching. Um, hopefully my quality is okay. I guess I'll see if I watch the VOD. And then uh, try and make some minor adjust and adjustments or whatever. Check out this. And uh, I'll check you on the next one. Shot and uh, cheers.